Hey guys, quick little video. I want to show you uh, some of the details and things I've noticed with the F-15 since I've had it. Uh, if you look at the thumb of my pilot here, when I press the castle switch, his thumb moves and the button on the joystick moves. So there's that. That's a cool little thing I picked up. Uh, second, if you pull this little lever here, you can adjust the uh, pedals. Look at the animations of the guy moving his legs, by the way. You pull this back and you can adjust where the pedals sit. It's like a comfortability thing. And I can push them all the way back and let it go. And my pilot's legs extend. And I can pull it forward and I can set them like this. Which is obviously uh, less comfortable. So I'm going to push that back out. And look at that. He can sit in a more comfortable position. Realistic. Just like the real thing. So very, very cool. Uh, as we look up here, we have adjustable mirrors. So you can actually... Look at that. Isn't that cool? You can set your mirrors up exactly how you want them. Have them point towards you. All three of them. You can change the angle on all three of them. Very cool. Lots of detail so far. Uh, let me show you the engines now. Now, I'm sure you guys are aware the Strike Eagle comes with this Israeli camouflage. It's a F-15I. Obviously, the Israelis have it. But the engines are actually different. They have these turkey feathers. I'm going to show you the American variant as well here. And if you compare the engines in the back, the Israeli one has the turkey feathers. The Americans don't. Supposedly, they decrease drag a little bit, but um, they're a huge maintenance problem from my understanding. Uh, so they actually had them removed on a lot of American aircraft. They didn't contribute too much to drag, so they were like, whatever, we'll just remove it. The Israelis kept them. And that's actually modeled in this F-15E. So, and you can hear those noises too. When the engine nozzles move, you get the audio feedback. Uh, look at this. This is the American on the bottom. You can see the turkey feathers have been removed. So it's really nice to see attention to detail at this level. And watch the nozzles as they move without the turkey feathers. You can get a better look in here. Look at all the little moving parts and mechanisms of that engine modeled perfectly. These are the little attention to detail things I love to find in modules. Look at that. That is crazy. I bet you like so many hours of, you know, work and modeling went into that. It's absolutely amazing. Really, really cool. This next one I noticed while I was filming, uh, recording some of the uh, takeoff sequences for some of the earlier videos. But the suspension on this thing is actually pretty impressive. Now, I don't think it's the only DCS module to have suspension in the gears, but I do enjoy the way they're modeled here. They look flawless. Look at those back uh, wheels as they provide perfect suspension to the aircraft. Modeled perfectly. Look at that. Look at that. As it hits the bumps there. Very cool. And landing too, right? When you land like that, you can see the suspension as the aircraft touches down. And then there's the pressure off the wheels. Isn't that cool? Very, very cool. I love that, man. So as you pull G's, your vertical and horizontal stabilizers will uh, flutter against the G's at the high pressure of air going by them. And I haven't quite seen detail like this in other modules. I mean, again, wing flex is not a new thing in DCS. We've seen that with other modules like the F-16. A lot of them have it. But, you know, to see the tails flutter like this, and I like that it's not some stupid jittery animation. Like, look at that. That actually looks realistic, man. Now, the floodlights in this module are obviously amazing, but if you look up here, you have a uh, light, a kneeboard light, essentially, that you can put on your legs of your pilot, your virtual pilot, when he has his knee pad there, and you can read information off of it. You can adjust that however you want you can literally grab it and turn it. Again, not new. Uh, very similar to the Harrier, actually. Look at this. You can see the hair on my guy's arm. <laughs> That's crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Look at the natural movements of the pilot's body as I turn to the right, as I turn to the left. Moving the stick, his body reacts to my movements. 
and it all looks very natural. Look at his legs moving when the stick hits them. It moves his leg to the right. Look at that. And if I go to the left, it moves his, his leg to the left. And it, it doesn't clip into it. It actually feels like a stable object that he's pushing to the right and left. Uh, watch this as I pull G's the legs inflate the G the G suit that he's wearing will inflate to help with blood flow as I put G's on the aircraft you can see that inflation look at this you'll see this pull the G's look at that very clear inflation of that G suit which is going to help uh, push the blood flow up to the brain, restrict it from getting into the legs and help the pilot pull more G's isn't that cool? I actually noticed this one by accident all right, guys. Well, I'm sure there's plenty, plenty more. That's all I found so far, but uh, I'll let you know if I find any other amazing ones. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, by the way, shout out to Razbam for all these details. Very well done in the modeling of this uh, F-15 so far. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.